are you a truther? If you said yes, then you may want to know what the greatest threat to a truther is. And that would be a lemming. A lemming is your greatest threat. Your greatest, not, no, no, not your greatest enemy. But it's one of your greatest threats. <clears throat> I would say the greatest enemy is the people that lead the lemmings. That's your greatest enemy. But your most numerous enemy is going to be a lemming, you know, and that's who we want to wake up. We want to wake up the lemmings. Well, I hate to tell you this, but there is a very good chance that most lemmings will never wake up. They just, they just can't. It's not in their ability to. Maybe it was in yours, but it's, it's not in theirs. Those that demand safety over freedom deserve neither. And they're going to use the lemmings as compartmentalized, useful idiots. And they're going to use them as weapons to demand that you're unsafe for any reason. It doesn't matter. Oh my God, you exist. You're unsafe. You know, so... You know, they might instill different types of fear inside the lemming and, and have them demand their rights be taken away. So you're going to have lemmings that demand to be enslaved and, and praise it and worship it and applaud it and say, yes, please take our freedoms. And they're going to blame you the truth are. They're going to say, we don't feel safe because we're intimidated by how intelligent you are. Because what they don't understand scares the fuck out of them. Because they're lemmings. And you're smarter than them. You scare the fucking bejesus out of them. They want to be protected from you, the people that know more. And there's a reason why, because that's what the pipers do. The Pied Pipers that lead the lemmings down the street, and then they all jump off cliffs. The lemmings are not an animal that jumps off a cliff. Lemmings are people. Everyone's a lemming. Everyone. It's, it's just the way the world turns. And lemming is the word. If I see a band, and they're called Tool, that means lemming. If I see, you know, a band called Dead Rats or something, you know, it kind of reminds me of the Pipe Piper. And I've noticed bands have followings. So bands know a lot about lemmings. And that's why a lot of bands are basically called they'll have a name entitled Lemming, or they'll have some kind of Lemming, you know. Like, they'll have a mouse, or a rat, or a sheep, or they'll be called Tool. Maybe they'll be called monkeys or gorillas. And even if you listen to, to gorillas, you know, they even talk about devil worship and stuff. Just like everybody with the Illuminati, you know, and they expose that stuff. What do you think sheeps do? You know, the, the Illuminati is just a pipe piper that leads the lemmings down the street.
ราอย่าไปวางใจเลยนะทำให้คุณสูญเสียเวลาคุณเพราะเขาจะบอกว่าคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดโอ้ยคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิดคุณเป็นคนที่ผิ
you're not going to wake people up. Trying to is just going to expose yourself. You know, uh, I met a uh, scientist once, and his job was to study global warming or something, and, and that's the kind of way he chose to woke people up, is, is just by talking about global warming or something. <clears throat> so, it's like, you know, that's really... It's like the study of the earth, you know, and, and um, so, you know, to me, it would, I guess, if anybody is awake, it might be somebody that does study global warming or something, even though you might not believe in that or whatever. So, you're never going to wake up a lemming. Ne never. Ever. And even trying is epic failure. But what you can do is wake people up that want to be woke up, you know. So, basically, what's really going on is, is you're counting the cards in your hand and saying what kind of hand do I have and you're going to play that hand you know and it's like that's all you got is your hand you, you don't have the whole deck you keep looking at that deck saying I'm going to wake one of those cards up and they're going to jump in my hand they're not you need to look at your hand and say what can I do with this? How can I play this? I have five cards, not five million. How can I play with this? I have a men, I have an army of 300 versus millions and millions. What am I going to do with these guys? How am I going to play this? You have lemmings that you wish you could wake up. They're, they're not going to wake up. And you have people that claim they're awake you know so it's like you can either keep preaching to the choir and, and hope that you're, you're going to wake up a very few small minority of people and then, and then what are you going to ever do with them you know like uh, people have asked Alex Jones yeah what are you going to do about it you know, you talk about the New World Order, well, what are you doing about it? Waking people up, well, how long is that going to last? Forever? Oh, that's a very small minority. You know, Alex Jones is always like, I have so many people watching and so many views and so many followers and even, uh, you know, now they got Joe Rogan videos where he says the same thing. like you know people like Alex Jones is like the Braveheart movie and he, and he like he totally plays on that and he tries to make you think you're going to be able to fight this tyranny and you're not you know The best way to fight it is not by necessarily waking people up, which I, I wouldn't stop doing that, but I would not count that as all that you have, you know. But, at the same, you know, it's like 
you know, everybody that watches this is a lemming, so, you know, advice that goes unheard, basically. No use to lemmings. Lemmings have no use for this information. It is, it has no value. And, and then what does a lemming value? Nothing. They value being lemmings. That's it. <coughs> lemmings will never wake up. Because to wake up, you have to be able to see something different than what you already know. And that's not going to happen. Everything you know comes from a television or from an indoctrination school funded by your government. You're never going to know anything differently than what they tell you and what they, what they tell you is what makes you a lemming. And the only way to not be a lemming is to think differently on your own. And there's no real way to do that because you have to disconnect yourself almost like I have, to kind of see from a different perspective, a different point of view, to think outside the box. Well, as a lemming, you don't want to think outside the box. You want to think in the box. <coughs> and that's what you do. You think in the box. So it's like, I'm telling you to think out of the box. You, you physically can't do that because you would have to break down everything you know and rewrite it from new, in a sense, you know. I guess it's a way to explain it, even though it might kind of happen like that. But that's something that takes something which lemmings don't have. They don't have something. And, I, and I'd say, you know, for things that you can't see, you live in a prison, like a matrix. And, and it's pretty real, you know. And for the most part, you don't have the ability to look out from that. You never will. And I think you could, you know, especially since I can give you a good start, but at the same time, you know, no, you can't. You're limiting, you know. I don't care how much you would think you're not. It, it's something for me to know, and I guess for you to never find out, because you're limiting. Limiting don't find out anything. That's what I'm saying. They don't wake up. They don't discover that they're limiting. It doesn't happen. They don't have open minds. They can't be honest. They're compulsive liars. They're lemmings. They're zombies. That's all they do. They're genetically modified to be that. And they will forever be genetically modified to be like that. Unless they're alphas or betas or deltas. And the alphas are the Illuminati. And the deltas are people like us and me and you. And what if the Deltas woke up to what the Alphas knew? What would that be? Deltas that know they're Deltas? Flies that know they eat fly shit? That would be like waking up to the world around you. Like seeing from a different perspective, from outside the box. you're incapable of doing that. Because although you can't see the different dimensions, you can think about them. And although you can't imagine them, you can think about them. And that's the thing, it's thinking out of the box. Something you can't do. For the simple fact, You've never been outside this box. 
out of this dimension, out of this reality. Well, I have. And I'll tell you, right outside the other side is a real freedom. The stuff that we're, we're sold. A lie that we're sold to, to lead to believe. A lie. Freedom. Freedom lies just be outside the gates of this prison. And, uh, and you can you you can go there in a way it's not necessarily easy it involves breaking out of the prison that you're in right now and you can't do that because you can't see and I'd say well you know wake up there there's a good chance you can you know it took me ten years that ain't a joke you know, what if it took you ten years and you started today? Well, ten, ten years from now, you know, some people could be faster or slower. <clears throat> I remember I had a guy tell me, he's like, what makes you think you're so awake? You think everybody's not awake? You call everybody lemmings. I'm awake. I'm like, dude, you're not awake. Like, whatever. You know, believe whatever you want. Tell me whatever you think. You don't care what I think. I don't care what you think. But you know what? I'll consider what you said. Something you're incapable of doing. Which already I know. I'm the bigger man, and it, it just takes a bigger man to know it. And, and so I don't... I just... You don't care? Why should I care? You don't care what I have to say? I don't, I don't care what you have to say. Even though the funny thing is, I always still consider it. Something you're incapable of doing. You're incapable of considering other thoughts, other ideas. You're open-minded. You're not open-minded. You're very closed-minded. You're hypocritical, and you're in denial. It's, it's total sheepism. It's all a part of being a sheep, and everybody's a sheep, and it's totally easy to spot it. It's so easy to see a sheep. Don't get me wrong, no. Sheeps aren't stupid. They can think. But they'll never think out of the box. Like I can. I think they could, if they really so desired to, like I have. But they don't necessarily have the desire to actually be a free thinker. That's not a lemming for you, is it? Lemmings don't desire to not be lemmings. Lemmings the word. It's not an animal, it's, it's people. Big time. Real deal, serious shit, lemming. Lemmings the word, dude. It's serious. Lemmings are going to fucking kill you. And if you're a lemming, you're just going to kill yourself. You jump off cliffs. You're a lemming. You jump off cliffs. Do I feel bad? What if I want to be a Pipe Piper? I'm not. I can't. But what if I want to learn? They make it out to be so cool. Oh, look at Jay-Z. He's a Pipe Piper. Oh, look at, uh these people and this and that and even Mark Dice says they, they try to uh, make it cool and it's like I'm like any other lemming I might fall for that oh worship Satan it's so cool whatever you know It's not like you're using an Apple product, which the Apple itself is the symbol of Adam and Eve and the devil. You probably don't even know that. You might use an Apple product, iPhone, iPad, iLaptop, whatever it's called. And that symbol's right there and you don't even know what it is. For me, I'd have a worm sticking out of the bite, and the worm was fucking Satan or something. It's 
So there's only there's only two kinds of people in this world. Lemmings and pipers. And the pipers worship Satan and get the lemmings to unknowingly worship Satan and do as thou will and all that. And even the people that expose that, they have no idea that how they are a part of that ritualistic magic. Even the people that expose this stuff, the truthers, they're lemmings too. They don't know it. Even if they, they're, they're close and, and they, they have good info, it's easy to spot lemmings. You know, like, if you made it your job to um, study the psychological behaviors of a lemming and, and to not really be like that and to know lemming, lemming, tool, a cretin, a follower, one that doesn't have their own thoughts or opinions. If you know that and you know lemming and you're, and you're and and you and it, you, you call it compromised. Are you compromised? And I'm looking for things that make make you compromised. And I'm looking for that. Could you imagine that? You know, it's it's not necessarily about my first impression. You know, it's about yours because you don't have anything to prove at the end of the day. What what do you offer? You know, like, like, I've heard people say that, like John Hules say that. What do you offer? Well, if you're him, you're going to offer a bunch of lies and bullshit, propaganda. You know, if I, if I have a, a video of John Hules saying, yeah, I work for the government with a secret service and I'm keeping tabs on truthers, you wouldn't believe that John Kules, one of the biggest YouTubers, is a fucking CIA informant. You wouldn't believe that probably, would you? Then his fucking plan really works, don't it? <clears throat> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm just making shit up, right? It's not like I really have a video of him saying, like, yeah, I'm FBI. You know, I might I might put it up there. I might not. I don't, I don't know. I kind of like just thinking about it, you know. And I got video of everyone doing that shit. And the thing is, I'm thinking, you know what? You might blind yourself to this shit. Like, if I put that up there, you might just say, hey, it's fake. It's not true. You, you're going to choose to believe what you want either way. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe I'll put it up there, maybe I won't. I think either way, it might not matter, because if, if you don't know truth, there's no amount of evidence that's going to that's gonna persuade you any other way. So I have no use in persuading you any other way. I don't want to convince you of something you're incapable of believing in anyways, with no amount of evidence. That's why I figure... When will you learn that you're a lemming? You you might not never you might die, and and just never know. Ignorance is bliss. And there's a difference between stupid and ignorant. Ignorance maybe could be taught and told the difference. It doesn't know any better. Stupid. It, it doesn't matter. You can't fix it. So, are you ignorant or are you stupid? You know what? Uh, you're stupid. And I'm not joking around. Ten years of lemming research has told me you're stupid. And stupid means you can't learn. That doesn't mean you're that you can't do anything or that you can't ever think. Or that you're entirely stupid. I'm sure that you could be pretty smart, you know, but you're not going to be able to think out of the box.
and, and that's like what's really going to set you apart from other lemmings as other lemmings can be smart but they're lemmings and they think in the box and that, that can be good for lemmings because that's what they do so you know if you were a lemming you would never want to think out of the box that's that you know so when you, if you look it up like if you was to look up out of the box thinking for corporations it, it tells you like no you know if, if you're in a corporation you're a total fucking lemming you don't think out of the box you think in the box big time further in the box real time in the box thinking for corporations they don't hire people for their independent you know like Nikola Tesla he, he you know he was way ahead of his time they didn't give a shit even today they don't care they don't care you know it was about making money it always has been capitalism is slavery at its finest but but you've been told your whole life how great it is so who am I to sit here and tell you the opposite of everything you've ever been told in your life if somebody came up to me and told me half the shit I said I would call them crazy I would say you're fucking crazy get the fuck away from me and that scares even me I'm like fuck I'm crazy <laughs> because I know the truth and that's something just your everyday fucking lemming just doesn't fucking get they're not gonna get it you know it I guess it doesn't mean they're stupid it just means there's some things just they're not gonna get and that's something for me to know and for you to never find out you will die and never know and I can accept that. Do you not understand that I accept that you're a lemming, that you're a zombie, you think I'm fucking crazy? Well, great. Because I can obviously see a fork in the road where lemmings jump off cliffs. I'm running the complete opposite fucking direction. And I don't have a fucking problem with that. And I know I'm not... As it's my job as a non-lemming to not be drugged off the cliff by a bunch of whole bunch of lemmings. So if if I do my job correctly, you will all die by suicide, like lemmings do. That's why I said suicide by whatever lemming. And and if my job is correct. I'm, I'm going to be the last motherfucker on this planet. Uh, maybe. You know. <laughs> In theory, I guess. I don't know. You know. <clears throat> because it, it's... What do lemmings do? They jump off cliffs. What's going to happen? The Pied Pipers are going to lead the rats off the cliff. And if I don't follow them... I'm going to be okay. And and as, as much as they hate me, and they want me gone, and everything else, at the fucking end of the day, they, that happened to them. What they wanted to me that happened, ended up happening to them. And all I had to do is walk the other way. That's it. So do I want to wake you up? No, in fact, maybe I'm a pipe, piper, but I'm not. That's, that's like, do I want to go there? And I say, I want to learn about it. I'd like to learn how to be a pipe piper. But actually, you know, saying that, you know, no, it's more like I want to learn about it so I can defend against it to not be a lemming. I want to learn more about lemmings and the pipers. So I can't be like that. But at the same time, you know, if I learn enough and I like it, and they're like, sell your soul to Satan, and I decide, hey, yeah, you know, you know, I've, I've learned all this, I know all this, I see it, they expose it, but at the same time, I'm like, 
No, yeah. I, that's the thing that gets me. It's like, I don't know. It sounds like another lemming thing. I think that's the whole thing. I can't be a lemming, so I, I can't necessarily be a piper anyways, because I think... Nah, it don't matter, because it's like... If I build a prison, and I said, I'm going to make people live here, but they're going to love it. And so you were like, well, no, you know, I'm better than you. I can make a prison that's even worse and make people love it even better. So we'll have a competition. You make the worst prison you can and see how much you can get people to love it and not even know they're there. And then I'm going to do the same thing and get people to love it even worse. You know, maybe it's capital. You, you know, you do it with capitalism. I'll do it with c communism or whatever, you know. And it's like, let's see who can get the people, you know, like, look at Kim Jong-il when he dies. It's like, they fucking cry. And it's like, dude, I hope you, you get what I'm getting right now. Because that's kind of funny. Like, that's not, nah, you know, because people do that to me and I'm like, no, you're a lemming, you know. If somebody said that to me, I'd call him a lemming. But because they wouldn't say what I said. They would say it totally differently. They'd be like, hey, dude, aliens exist. <gasps> Do I have the Hoffman lenses now? And I'm like, no, man. You're so stupid. I feel bad. Here, just have a pair of Hoffman lenses. They don't even know what to do with them. They stick them on their ass. I'm like, man, you're so stupid. The Hoffman lenses don't go on your ass. God, you're so stupid. And then they're like, they stick them backwards on their head. And they're like, do I got it now? And I'm like, you're not even going to know what the fuck to do. You're, you're probably going to put them on and go, wow, this is cool. What is this? I don't know. Oh, this is cool. Uh, <laughs> you know, they're just not going to keep it in. They're not going to get it. So it's like, you live in a prison. That's not that bad. So. If the prison was about how much fun you can have in prison, then you're, you're okay then, right? <laughs> to me, I'm like, no you're in prison, but to you, you're like, no, I'm, I'm okay, I like it, I, you know, prison's great, man, prison, is this prison, what are you talking about, prison, how could I be in prison right now, what are you talking about, and I think that, you know, there's got to be a magic day, and a magic time, and a magic place, where all the lemmings jump, and I think that's the real zombie apocalypse, is one day I'm going to wake up, and everybody's gone. And I'm going to be like, where did everybody go? You know, and I'll turn on the news, and it'll say, there's a zombie apocalypse. And I'll say, well, where is everybody? What's going on? You know? And I'll go to the store, and there's nobody there. There's nobody at the cash register. The store's open take what you want, nobody's there. It's a full-blown zombie apocalypse and there's not a zombie to be found. What the fuck is going on? Well, it just turns out that they all jumped. Every living motherfucking one of them jumped. And I'm sitting there like, oh, 
my God, dude, this is the greatest fucking day of my life. They all jumped. All of them. Holy shit. And just think of them. The zombie lemmings jumping off the cliff. The, the fucking unibrown fucking lemming motherfuckers. Big, fat, American, French fry eating, McDonald's eating, motherfucking aspartame ingested motherfucking zombies just jumping off the motherfucking cliff, dude. I mean, I'm sure they're great people, you know, I don't, I don't, I'm sure these big, fat, retarded zombies, and even if they're not big, fat, and retarded, that's just pretty normal for America. They, there's more fat people than there are skinny people in America by far. I think a third of the population is skinny, and, and then two-thirds is fat. And that's probably being nice, honestly. I guess I'm supposed to be fat. Somehow. I mean, they might be nice people or whatever. But, dude... These people are so much fucking lemmings. They're so lemmified. They're so zombified. They're so fucking gone. Like, think of Janet Napolitano. The fucking mustache lady. Like, total raging bitch mustache on her face fucking pissed because she has a mustache and, and she's just going to release her estrogen hate on the whole fucking world with, with her big fat donut eating face she's going to just spread her hatred disease over this planet but I'm sure she's a nice person she's a nice unibrow fucking evil fucking bitch you know You know, I'm sure these fucking big, fat, 50-year-old bitches that hate their fucking life, they're, they're the fucking epitome of a fucking dystopia, epitome or whatever, I don't know, they're, they're the stapleton of this fucking dystopia, the fat, brain-dead, zombified nation, and, and what their lemming fucking dumbasses matter the fucking most. When Jan Jana Napolitano says blah 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 and every other fucking fat woman like her is like blah blah blah. That's what we get, dude. Edward Bernard's got woman to smoke because he said it gave them their own penises. And, and feminism is like like tyranny against males or something it's like you know they you know there's laws against female circumcision but there's no laws against male circumcision I'm circumcised and I hate it they you know they destroyed my natural body they, they you know your eyelid is a flap of skin how about we just cut that off? It's sexual mutilation for birth control purposes. They can't do it to a woman, they'll do it to a man. Whatever they can get across. And the women, they don't care because they feel like their, their fucking vaginas are just a fucking meat rag. They don't know their ass from their vagina a hole in the ground and a vagina. They don't know their vagina from a hole in the ground. They fucking don't, dude. And, and it's 
just look at Brave New World, you know, and the brainwashing there. And, and, and Edward Bernard said, we control the female and we control the male. And that's what feminism is. Feminism and Edward Bernard go hand in hand, just like crowd manipulation, crowd manipulation, social manipulation, indoctrination, compartmentalization. There's just so many great fucking words. And I bet you don't even know a damn one. I, I, you don't even know what lemming is. You don't know what compartmentalized is. You don't know what indoctrinated means. There, there's just so many words. I don't even know all of them. They're just all so great. There's so many different words to explain what the fuck is going on. When the police harass me, I used to just call it harassment. Now I know it as tyranny in a police state. Amazing words that can be used as tools to fight a, a police state, you know? When you get harassed and, you, and you're a lemming and you don't know what police state means, you know, you need to get on the internet and look it up. And for the people that do look it up, the people that don't, you know, I wouldn't criticize them because they're smarter than you. You fear what you don't know. And that's why you fear truthers, because you're stupid. You're afraid of intelligence. You're afraid of someone knowing more than you. And so instead of learning, you would just attack that. And they always say, when you're in an argument, first they argue, then they try to debate, and then they get mad and fight you, and then you win. But honestly, with lemmings, you're never going to win. They're never going to wake up. Never. You need to count your cards, look at your truther deck, and say, what are we going to play now? And I'm going to tell you what you should play. You should play the get-the-fuck-out game. Just like when, you're, when you learn about guns, and they're like, oh, you, you're CC carry now, and someone's attacking you. What are you going to do? Just shoot them in the face? No, you're not allowed to. They have to do this and that, and, you, and, and, and it's better to run, you know. And that's what they say, run. And Alex Jones would say the opposite. He would say, well, you know, it's we're being attacked from every angle. We're being flanked from every angle. So just attack. Just point in a direction, and you can attack in that direction. No, Mr. Alex Jones. Your best bet is to run and get out of a prison. If you're in a prison, are you going to change the democracy of that fucking prison? No. You're fucking not. It's a lemming, brain-dead prison with a fucking judge and a jury, and that's it. And you're not fucking t changing shit. And if you do, yay, great for you, whatever. But for me, it's like, get the fuck out, you know. It's like, hey, let's make an escape plan. We're going to escape out of this prison. Oh, no, sh sh prison escape plan. When the gates open, we're all going to fucking run, okay? Sound like a plan? Well, wait a minute, man. We're not even in prison. Fuck, dude. Shut up. You're stupid. Yeah, we're in prison. What the fuck, dude? This guy over here says we're not in prison. You fucking stupid, dude. Whatever. Anyways, the rest of you over here, awake people, do you want to escape? Mm -hmm. You know, you ever seen, um... Let me think here, uh... Uh, Atlas Shrugged, yeah, you know, where he left and went and made his own shit. Not, not even that. Okay, there is a different... <laughs> dimension, okay. You know, that's the fucking Matrix, right? And, and right outside there is not all this bullshit that we have. It's just, it's just not there. It doesn't exist there. And that, that's what I'd like you to see, is how all this bullshit that we think applies to us doesn't. If you say it doesn't, the second you say, fuck you, leave me alone, I'm leaving, the universe says, okay, it said, I am not accepting this tyranny. So the universe changes and it goes, ooh, in a different dimension, pops up and says, alternate universe.
you have a choice between A and B and whether you even knew it or not. You had no idea you have a you have a freedom choice that was a God given right to be a slave and and to live in ignorance and, and to enjoy your prison and, and you know and, and your slave masters are just trying to see how much they can get you to be enslaved and enjoy it at the same time. Or you can t take a step out from that and say, fuck all the dumb shit, dude, because it really is dumb. And I'm not going to stand for anything stupid. I'm, I'm not even going to debate it. I'm not going to debate your stupidity. I'm not going to sit down with Pierce Morgans and have a debate. It's pointless. It's useless. We're not debating here. It's fuck you. Get out of my fucking life. That's it. End of story. There's no other way. That's it. Fuck you. Get out of my life. And the universe will obey your fucking command. Okay? Simple. You, you ever heard of the secret? The law of attraction? Yeah. Yeah, dude. But you don't get that as a sheep. There's no law of attraction. When you're a sheep, your law of attraction is enjoying your prison. And that's it. But when you say, hey, there's nothing I enjoy in this prison. I demand freedom from your tyranny, from your tyranny, from your harassment, from your bullshit, from your on and on sheepishness, from you going, oh my God, I'm afraid of your, your intellect. We, we should... Uh, we should lock you up because you think the thought police are here. It's like, I want freedom from you. You know? From, from people that are just fucking brain dead. You know, whether I get that or not, I don't know. But that's what I'm saying, I demand it. And the universe fucking has a way of working its magic. And I'd like to share that with you since no one else knows it. And, I, and although everybody else is allowed to brainwash everybody else, I'm not allowed to just simply tell you about an alternative universe that exists within this one, if that's too hard to believe. There's, there's two universes. One you're living in right now. Right now. Living in it. So you know this one quite well. But there's a whole different dimension, overlapping this dimension, that you could experience. Which is called non-limbing. It's called non-limbing. It's a whole different dimension. I'm there, partially. You know, fading in and out to talk to you. Or whatever. It's like, would you like to check it out? Would you like to see something different, something new, something you've never seen before? Would you like to think out of the box? Well, to get out of the box, you have to see things differently than you do right now. And you know what? Right now, you're not seeing anything any differently. Okay, so you're smart. You're a smart person that can't look out of the box. So you're, you're a smart, in-the-box thinker. Don't you want more to life? Don't you want to go down a rabbit hole, take a red pill, put on some Hoffman lenses? Or are you just a fake, phony fucking bitch? I don't care. But don't tell me you want a red pill, and you, you don't want it, and you hate fucking red pills, and you're going to throw it at me and throw the glasses at me and say, fuck you. Then I'll say, fine. Then they're not for you. Go the fuck away. Uh, understand? Is this hard to get? Yes, it is. You know why? Because you're dumb lemming zombies. How hard is it to understand? Red pill, 
Hoffman lens. Do you want some? Yes, I do. Here you go. They're not drugs. They're glasses. And and day quill, night quill, whatever. There you go. Oh my God. You know, I don't like I said. You could put them on. It might not work. Whatever. And I'm saying you're smart. But you're a smart in the box thinker. Let's take that and free your mind and break the the boundaries that your mind is trapped in and free it and, and give it some air to breathe so you can think some new thoughts besides the lemming same old bullshit that, that you can't get rid of because you don't know anything any differently. But this is real. Unfortunately for you, since you think it's fake, uh, sorry for you. Sorry that you don't see your opportunity, your chance, that there's an actual person that that g g could give you Hoffman lenses and red pills. Or whatever. Oh my god. It's so amazing. You, you just don't even know that. It's like, whatever. Don't, don't tell me I scare you. Oh, you're so scary. Oh my god, I don't understand. Fine. It's like, then leave me the fuck alone. You're, you're not, though. That's what I'm saying. You know, you're, you're stalking me. Just because you think I'm bad doesn't mean you can fucking stalk me. I think you're bad. Maybe I should stalk you. Oh, no, that's a crime, okay? I think you're a pedophile. I bet I could prove it if I watched you for a day or two. Could I really do that? Could I document your fucked up shit. A lot of people are like, oh, I'm documenting your fucked up shit. I'm documenting you, documenting me. Just like Melissa at Alex Jones says. Is that what you want? Is them documenting what you had for breakfast? Oh my god, he had cereal for breakfast. He must be a truther cereal killer. Oh my god. You're so bitchified. Dude, that's what, like, people are, uh, even Alex Jones has said, you know, do they fluoride people? You know, they've got them so bitchified, so ballless, so coward, cowardly. And the women are more like, they're more like tyrannical bulldogs, you know, like fucking Janet Napolitano. They're like raging to fucking just be evil cunts controlling just fucking everything. It's like they get off on being total fucking mustache bitches. Like they, they think they're men or something. It's like women taking testosterone or something. Like they're fucking... They're not women anymore. They're fucking weird. And everybody knows it, you know. Alex Jones even says J Japan and Napolitano looks all fucking fucked up. Yeah, dude, they do. And that's who's fucking controlling us, is these fucking zombies, dude. I'm not going to have it. I'm not going to try to change it. I'm not a politician. I'm not a fucking voter. I can vote if I want. I'm telling you, right now, lemmings are going to push you off the cliff, okay? You ever heard of um, a crowd of people before, like a lynch mob or a... Um, you know, a crowd trampling people or the bystander effect or anything. Okay, if you're standing on the edge of a cliff and all of a sudden the gun goes off and all the lemmings just start running off the cliff and you're on the front lines, you're going to get pushed off the cliff. So I'm telling you right now, right now, right now, 
you are either going off that cliff. That's it. There is no other place to go. There is a cliff. There is a fiscal cliff. There's all kinds of shit. You're either going off the cliff, and they're gonna you're gonna be caught in that mob, and you're going off. You're you're caught. You're running. You're going. If you stop, you're trampled. That's it. You're going off. Lemming time. Or you're running the other way. You've already started running the other way. You're far enough away. You're not caught in it. That's it. Do you understand? No, you don't. Great, dude. Cool story. I'm going to go learn how to play a flute. Come on, everybody. Cliff time. Jump to the cliff. Everybody to the cliff. Cliff time. Cliff dude. So, if anything, if you were like, man, I'm a truther, you would really need somebody that can see what you can't see, if anything. If, especially if you're blind. It's like you don't want the blind leading the blind. You know, that's the whole thing. If you're blind, you're going to want somebody that at least can see. So you, you may want to bounce things off of me, like, hey, uh, I'm a truther, uh, but, you know, I'm afraid that this is lemmingness. Is this like a lemming? Even truthers are lemmings, okay? Whoa. Truth or lemmings? Because if you follow something, you're probably a lemming. If you follow the truth movement, you're probably a lemming. So if if you wanted to like bounce some ideas off somebody and say, hey, is, does this seem lemming to you? It's easy to tell. It's not if you're a lemming. You see, you're blind. You don't know. You can think you know all you want. You can't see anything any differently than what you already know. So how are you going to know any differently? How are you going to know any better? You would be surprised. You would be surprised. I'm surprised. I like it when you act non-surprised because it really lets me know how dumb you are. And I'm like, oh, so you're not surprised? No, no, I knew that. No, you're not even getting it still. Like, you're going to die and you're still not going to get this joke. In a way, it's not a joke, but we'll see who laughs laugh. Like I said, let me go off the cliff. And if, if my job is correct, as a non-lemming, I'm probably going to only be the last one standing. And I can't really complain about that. I'm complaining because it's like, you know, I'm, I'm tired of lemmings. I'm tired of it. But if they're going to go soon, I don't know what's going to be left. But apparently not a bunch of lemmings. <coughs> My theory sometimes is will you survive the cliff jump? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. And if you do, will you learn? I think you'll learn for a while, but then always you'll repeat the same mistake. History repeats itself. And the further back you go and the further you forget, the more likely it's going to repeat itself. 
especially things that happened a long time ago, because we forgot. It's not necessarily in our everyday history. Hey, do you remember Hitler? Nah, I'm a lemming. I don't remember anything. I don't see how that applies to this situation. Nah. Okay, so if you're talking about Edward Bernays and crowd manipulation, you're not going to... <laughs> you're not going to address people as individuals. You're going to address them as a group, as a group of lemmings. So basically, <clears throat> people go online, they look up mindless entertainment. That's how you address a limit, you know. But because I know you're a lemming, I, I kind of know that everything I said really falls upon deaf ears. Um, and that now I have to worry, uh, which makes me think, well, maybe I shouldn't make videos if I worry about them then, right? If I'm paranoid. But now, you know, it's like, do I have to be paranoid because, you know, I just, like, told a bunch of lemmings that I'm a non-lemming and that's just something beyond them and not only that but they've been trained their entire life to attack anything that's not a lemming the nail that sticks up gets hammered down it's it's embedded in our lemming behavior that if you're different than a lemming if you think differently if you you look differently if you're different than every other lemming that's why Asians look like Asians and black people look like black people and Mexicans look like Mexicans because the nails that get stuck up sometimes most of the time Maybe. I don't know. They get hammered down. So, I'm kind of understanding right now. You're a lemming. And you're like, oh my god. This guy has said the opposite of everything I've ever been told. Oh my god, we should flag his video. and Oh my god, we should send it to the FBI. And Janet Napolitano. So it's like, okay, oh my god. <laughs> you know, everything I just said fell upon deaf ears, and if anything, all it did is hurt me. So trying to help you, all it does is hurt me. So th thanks a lot. You know, I tried to help you and wake you up out of your fucking zombie coma, but now I'm just in trouble. Because the lemmings are going to go, ah! Oh my god, he's not, he's not one of us! Oh my god! <laughs> and they're going to do like that scene from like, Body Snatchers, like, Twilight Zone, Invasion of the Body Snatchers. They're going to look at you and go, oh, he's not a lemming! Oh, lynch him, lynch him now! Oh, mama, mama, like, whoa, where's that cliff at, son? Because I, I just see that cliff, like, right there. There's the cliff. And it's like, that. that's my duty. I'm running right now, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. There's the cliff behind me. I'm not running to it like you, I'm running away. I'm like, oh, run, run. Run, 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 run. Get out of here, get out of here. I'm not trying to persuade you any differently. I'm not trying to convince you of anything. I'm like, run. Run away. Run. Like, what is the best situation I can do here? Try to convince you otherwise? No, run. Run, run, run. Run from the danger. Run. 
but at the same time, you might have to face it, you know. I'm not saying, you know, face it or not, but if you ask me, I would say your greatest, greatest thing that you can do is to remove all the control that they have over you. And that's it. That's all you can do. There is, you know, you want to wake people up. They're, they're over there. You can't reach them. You're like, hey, dude, wake up. And, and they can't hear you. They're like sitting in a dark corner with glasses on and they're getting images flashed into their brain and they can't hear you. They can't hear you. They're not there. So it's like, save yourself. Run. I know you want to wake up. You got friends. You got family. Sometimes it's better to save yourself. If you die with your family, you're just as much as a lemming as I thought you would be. Okay? If you stock food for an upcoming shit hitting the fan and you have a whole bunch of food and, and your lemming zombie fat 5,000 pound friend eats it all in a day you're not going to fucking live anyways. You may not want to send, save your, your fucking lemming friends as much as you think you do. That You do. That's the thing. It's like we're saving people now. But at what point are we going to decide who to save and who not to save? That's like, that's a decision I don't want to have to make. But you're going to have to make it. If, if if your fat friend strays behind and he can't keep up and the wolves are at his heels and, and, and the troops are coming down on you and you're going to die and you're trying to get your fat friend to hurry, it, it might be better to leave your fat friend for the wolves. But not really. Not, you don't want to do that. But there's going to be a point where either you're going to die with your fat friend, your stupid zombie lemming friend, you're going to die with him trying to save his fucking ass, or it's you. You are nothing. You are the survivalist. They don't have the survival brain like you do. You are not going to save them. They are not your pets. They are not your lemmings. They are the piper's lemmings. And they're meant to march off the cliff. They were bred for this. It's called evolution. And only the survival of the fittest will survive. The real preppers. And those that try to save their failed lemming friends will fail with them. I want to save people too. But God helps those that help themselves. And you're still using that Apple product, ain't you? The symbol of Satanism. And you think you're religious. The whole point of a Pied Piper is to get their unknowing monkeys to worship Satan unknowingly. It's what makes them lemming monkeys. I think gorillas knew that when they worship Satan and they named their shit gorillas, monkeys. What are the monkeys? It's all the symbology that you weren't open-minded en enough to understand. Oh, God, dude, he's, he's into that symbology again, dude. Look at him. Oh, oh, my God. He's so out there, man. I don't get it, do I? No. That's why he's sitting there going, Whoa, dude, this is cool. And you're just like... Oh, no, no. Wait a minute, I'm thinking in the box again. No, you're smart, you know. Smart in the box. 
that, that's not that's not going to go very far. You're you're trapped. Your your potential is very limited within that fucking box, and you're you're great smart within that box. Don't get me wrong, but you don't understand anything beyond it. You're very limited in what you know. If you had a posted side stamp consciousness today, and you had a you know a notebook sized consciousness the next day but no you're just stuck in a box every day obviously they knew that when they made lemmings they thought how are we going to make lemmings we'll put them in a box they won't see out of it well what if somebody tells them they're in the box how will they know they can't see it they'd have to know something differently. Well, how are they ever going to know anything different? They're not. They're not going to leave the box. Well, what if somebody did come along? They're so indoctrinated, they're going to nail the hammer down. So don't worry about it. No one's going to wake up. They're incapable of doing it. It is not a part of their genetic behavior. We did not code it into their DNA. No, we didn't. Lemmings were not born with open, free-thinking minds. They were born with lemming brains. Sheep brains. You're not going to get a bunch of sheep to all of a sudden not be sheep. It just doesn't happen. If I was a sheep farmer and, and there was a wolf in my pack, I would say, Hey, wolf, you're not a sheep. What are you doing here? And he would say, No, 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 I'm a, I'm a wolf. I just want to wake up the sheep. Or something. Not not really. or Not a wolf, but I don't know. Maybe, well, you know, something different. Maybe an alpaca <coughs> joined the herd and was like, Hey, you're all a bunch of sheep. And they're like, yeah, yeah, I know. What are you going to do about it? <coughs> Nothing. They're sheep. Leave them the fuck alone. I'm not trying to wake you up. I'm, I'm telling you. Hey, are there any non-sheep out there? Whoa. Oh, my God. That's something. Be Whoa. No, I just had to get a little excited about it. Because I, I, would, I would be like, dude, I'm telling you, they're fucked up. But they would be more like, um, let me think. They would be like, oh my god, this dude's crazy. Uh, you know, he's all like, oh my god. And we're like, we don't, what is he going on about? We don't get it. It sounds like verbal diarrhea. I'll be all like, man, you just really don't get it, do you? You can't fix stupid. Nothing, nothing ever, nothing ever, 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 ever will ever fix stupid. But what if it wasn't exactly stupid? What if it was more like a box? And the box was keeping people stupid. And what if the people were kind of smart, but they never knew anything differently their entire lives? Even if you were telling them, hey, there's something different, they would still never, ever, ever get it. If you launched them, if I took you right now and threw you out of the Matrix and said, there, look, the Matrix, it's real. Just like in the movie. What do you think about that? You wouldn't be able to comprehend what you're seeing. You're your senses and your body would break down. You would see a scrambled image 
of nothing. I am not joking you. It is beyond your comprehension. Your eyes, your nose, your senses, your five senses that are perceiving this reality cannot comprehend another dimension. Because that's what we use in this dimension to comprehend this dimension. When you go out of another dimension, your sensories shut down. You will not see. You will not hear. Nothing. But that's not always... That, that wouldn't always be the case. If you kind of knew it, in a way, if you discovered it on your own, in a way, and, and kind of knew what you were getting into... Your, your perception could still understand it because you know what you're going into. You know what you're doing, what to expect, that it's going to be out there, that you, it's going to be scrambled, but you're, you're going to have to understand it and make sense of it in a way. And so you're more prepared for the unexpected. When, you, when the unexpected just happens, it may be baffling. You're not going to understand it. So that's all you're going through right now. And it's like, I don't want to wake up cheap, okay? I think you know who you fucking are. I am not mainstream Alex Jones wake people up. I tell you what Alex Jones can't and never will tell you. Because he has to still apply Edward Bernays to his wake up. Edward Bernays put you to sleep. We have to reverse that to wake you up. And that's all Alex Jones is probably doing. And, and, you know, he's probably a shill too, but, you know, maybe he's not. Maybe he has to pretend like a shill. You never really, or, you know, halfway be, you, you never know. That's just how the world works. So, you know, it's just, you never know. I can't say that for certain, but, you know, that's what I'm saying. 